Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of sequence and series. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that sum of an infinite geometric progression with the terms a, ar, ar square, ar cube, sum of these infinite terms of this geometric progression that is given to us as 15. Further, they have also told us sum of the squares of its each term. So if I square each term, the sum of that, so it is a square, a square, r square, a square, r raised to 4, a square, r raised to 6. Further, sum of all of these terms is given to us as 150. And we have been asked to find some of the terms that is a r square, a r four, a r six, and further. So we have to find some of all of these terms in the list. And there are four options also given to us. The first option being five by two, second option half, third option twenty five by two, and the last option nine by two. So we need to figure out which one of the following four options is the correct answer for the question given to us. So let's apply the idea of geometric progression first. We know whenever the terms are given to us is like this, A, AR, AR square, AR cube and so on. I can find the ratio of the consecutive terms. So if I find the ratio of second to first term, I get a common ratio R. If I find the ratio of third term to the second term, I get the common ratio as R and N. If I find the ratio of third term to the second term or the fourth term to the third term, again the ratio of the consecutive terms, we again find them as R. So you get common ratio which is a constant value and when you have the ratio basically constant, you get a geometric so we have this as a geometric progression and we know sum of infinite terms of the geometric progression that is equal to a upon 1 minus r where a is your first term and r is the common ratio or the constant ratio which we have between the consecutive terms. So just let's find the sum of infinite terms for the first sequence given to us which is a a r a r square a r cube we have been given the sum of that is equal to 15 so if i just apply the idea the first term i can see it is a and the common ratio that is consecutive or the constant value of the common ratio which is present between the consecutive terms i can see is r so i can get every next term by just multiplying the previous term by r so common ratio is or the constant ratio is r. So if I apply the idea a upon 1 minus r, it's equal to 15. So from this, I get the value of a as 15. 1 minus r multiplied, so a becomes 15 minus 15 r. So this becomes your first equation. Now let's try to solve it further with the second series. The second series which was given to us said some of the squares of the terms of the previous list. So a square, a square, r square, a square, r raised to 4, a square, r raised to 6. We have been given the sum of that entire list. It's equal to 150. So that is given to us as 150. So if I apply the idea again, sum of infinite terms of geometric progression, the first term, which is a square, and the common ratio which is present between the consecutive terms, if I apply the ratio between them, r square, the other ratio also if I apply, I get a common ratio r square, r square. So we have a common ratio as r square. So if I apply the idea, first term is a square upon 1 minus the common ratio, which is r square. That is again equal to 150. If I try to split this, I can write a into a. 1 minus r square, I can write that in the form of a square minus b square. So it becomes a minus b into a plus b. That is also equal to 150. If I try to solve this further, I have a upon 1 minus r already present here. So 
a upon 1 minus r we know already from the previous expression that was equal to 15. So instead of a upon 1 minus r, if I write that as 15, I have the left out term as a upon 1 plus r, which is equal to 150. So from this idea, I get a upon 1 plus r, it's equal to 150 by 15, which is 10. So a becomes 10 times 1 plus r. So a basically becomes 10 plus 10 r. So you get other equation also. So you have first equation a as 15 minus 15 r. You have other equation also a equal to 10 plus 10 r. If I equate both the ideas, so from 1 and 2, I get a as 15 minus 15 r is equal to 10 plus 10 r. So from this, if I take this r on the other side, I get 15 r plus 10 r. That is equal to 15 minus 10. So I get the answer here as 5 upon 25 is equal to r. So r basically becomes 1 by 5. So I get the common ratio between the consecutive terms as 1 by 5. And if I try to figure out the value of a that I have, I can put a as 10 plus 10 r. I know the r's value. I can get a from equation 2 also or I can get the a is value from equation 1 as well. So if I apply the equation to a becomes 10 plus 10 into r which is 1 by 5. So I get 10 plus 2 which is 12 here. So I get the value of a as 12 here from this expression. So a becomes 12 and r we already know it is 1 by 5. Now if I just apply the idea to find the sum of infinite terms which they have given to us. The series that was given to us is AR square, AR4, AR6, and so on. So if I find this series, I can see the ratio between the consecutive terms here is R square. Here also it is R square. And if you continue this forward, we get there is a common ratio between consecutive terms. So this also becomes a geometric progression. And since you have infinite terms, you are just applying the same idea sum of infinite terms of a geometric progression, it is first term, that in this case is a, upon 1 minus the common ratio, which is this r square. So if I apply the idea, first term we know already a, that was 12. 1 minus r square, that is 1 by 5 the whole square, that is 1 by 25. So I get 12 upon 25 minus 1 upon 25. So you get 12 upon 24. So from this idea, if I try to cancel it, 12 1 the 12 2 sub, I get sum of infinite terms of geometry as 25 by 2. So if you see the option that matches here with the question, I get the option as C. So C is the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood. How to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of infinite geometric progression. So we have to apply only one single formula to solve the entire question. And that was sum of infinite terms of geometric progression is given by the first term upon 1 minus the common ratio. So for all the three series we applied that idea. With first two series we got two equations in terms of A and R. We solved them simultaneously and we got r as 1 by 5 and a as 12. If we put those values of a and r for the third series, which was again an infinite geometric progression, we got the answer as 25 by 2 and that matches with option C. So the correct answer for the question turns out to be option C. That is your correct answer. I hope you have understood how to solve these types of questions. I will see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains as well as level 22. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE mains as well as level 22. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.